Yeah, we got the alert conditions through this evening for the dangerous heat that we're going to have. It's only going to last through this evening and tomorrow. Definitely better conditions, but take your time outside. Definitely hydrate and stay in shade as much as possible. We'll have storms coming probably later after evening commute, although it could be a few storms before then. We'll have to watch out for the severe. I think damaging wind could be one thing we'll keep an eye on. Much cooler on Wednesday. There'll be a few showers, but I think a lot of areas will just remain cloudy and cooler for Wednesday. Indicated on the mowing forecast too. Just hot today. Those thunderstorms towards the later evening hours. So most of the day will be dry and then shower chances here for Wednesday and Thursday. It's not going to be all day, but some bits of it. The good news is the temperatures will be mainly in the 70s, so that'll be the positive news with more clouds than sun, but we will get some rain right now. The feel like temperatures are going to climb in this afternoon into the 90s, mid 90s, and then through the evening commute. It's still going to be in the mid to upper 90s for most areas. It's not really going to start cooling off. You'll start seeing the color change up to the northwest by the time we get to six, seven. That means that cold front will begin to approach. We'll finally get below 90 probably by 8 p.m. as we have storms approaching by then. So we still got a period to go through. So for the evening commute, it's definitely going to be a hot one out there. Here's a few storms that may try to develop west of Eau Claire. Not probably going to see a lot of that kind of basically pulse up and down because of the heat right now. The southerly winds continue in the afternoon at Gusty. We're going to watch the main line really approach the area, but not till after the evening commute. That line actually could contain some stronger wind gusts. I think damaging winds would be the one thing we'll have to watch out. Once it gets closer to 9 or 10 and approaches a lot of the areas to the east, I think then we'll start seeing it more kind of just dissipate a little. So the severe threat's probably to about 10 to 11, and really it is better as you go further west. It's a level 2 out there, slight risk. Once again, the damaging wind is one thing I'm more concerned about with than, than the large hail, given the movement. We'll have to keep an eye on flooding, too, if it does start to slow down. Heavy rain potential, as areas have already seen quite a bit of rain, too. Overall, that line kind of continues to east past midnight, but then it becomes more just showers and a few storms overall. A lot of areas to the north may remain dry. Uh, you may wake up with some showers, but it may just be cloudy conditions. The winds begin to turn around, and those showers will continue. But uh, for most of the day Wednesday, it's just cloud cover, with a west wind, our temperatures will go lowering the 60s, but they won't climb much in the afternoon. Probably with the cloud cover, we'll get back into the 70s. We'll start seeing maybe an uptick in the coverage of showers towards the later half of the day into uh, Thursday night, uh, excuse me, Wednesday night. But that's going to be the trend. That boundary is going to stay right close to us. So even though we might not have showers all the entire period through Thursday, we're definitely going to keep that cloud cover and that east wind. As you see Thursday, more development of showers. It won't be an all-day rain. We're not expecting to see severe weather with this. It'll actually begin to lift further north as we go to Thursday. That means Thursday into Friday. Friday especially, we're going to start seeing those temperatures come up back up as the winds begin to turn around. So it's a wet period, but it's not going to be entirely all day washouts in any period. So really for tonight, really we're looking at the showers and thunderstorms coming through. Then we'll see temperatures lowering. Once again, that heat index will be high to about nine and it'll start coming back down. And then as we look at the eight day forecast, those shower chances on Wednesday really are a lot of hit and miss, not an all day rain. Same story on Thursday. We'll start seeing the temperatures come back up for Friday and Saturday. And the big cool down, which is looking pretty good right now, will probably come Sunday when we have a nice cold front come through, get us back to more seasonable type of conditions. All right, yeah, it looks like that'll feel a little better. Yeah, so stay <laughs> safe out there. Definitely yeah. remember it's going to be hot out there through the evening. All right, thank you, Greg. Mm -hmm.